Now for the sixth question, we are given this function fx as 1 upon mod log x into 1 by x plus cos x. Now we can take this limit x tends to infinite fx and it will be this limit x tends to infinite. Now when x is positive, mod log x is simply log x. So it will be 1 upon log x into x plus 1 upon log x into cos x. Now when x tends to infinite, log x tends to infinite. So it will be 1 upon infinite which is 0. And here also it will be 1 upon infinite which is 0 into cos infinite which is the oscillating value between minus 1 and 1. So value of this limit is 0. That means the statement 22 limit of fx does not exist when x tends to infinite it is incorrect. Now what about this 21? As x approaches infinite we have this term 1 upon log x into cos x. Now this cos x will oscillate between minus 1 and plus 1. So value of this function fx it's going to oscillate when x tends to infinite. That means this statement 21 is correct. 23rd is as x tends to 1, fx tends to infinite. Now if we take this limit, x tends to 1, 1 upon mod log x, 1 upon x plus cos x. Now it will be 1 upon mod log 1 and this is 1 plus cos 1. Now 1 plus cos 1 is positive. Now log 1 is 0 and basically this is 0 positive and 1 upon 0 positive is plus infinite. That means this statement 23 is correct. And if we take this limit x tends to 0 positive limit x tends to 0 positive fx we'll have this as this limit x tends to 0 positive now when x is 0 positive, log x is negative. So it will be minus 1 upon log x, 1 upon x plus cos x. Now log 0 is minus infinite. So this value will approach infinity. So this statement 24 is also incorrect. So the correct statements are 21 and 23.